So today we're going to do Teardown Lab, and the idea of Teardown Lab is to take some old electronics of some kind, something that uh, you don't want to use anymore, something that's uh, broken or no one wants, and to take it apart to see what's inside it. It's not a tear down and rebuild. We're not trying to put it back together. We'll do that later on. This is just the first skill of taking apart. Um, over here, I've got a Phillips head screwdriver of a medium size. I've got a few different specialized uh, toolkits in case there are particular screws in here that are unusual. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is look around this device. I can see that the handset from this old phone comes off. Um, and I can see that it's actually channeled down here through this wiring conduit. And I should be able to, with a little bit of force and getting the cable the right way, get that out. Look, there we go, and that's unplugged as well. So I'm going to put that aside. Da, 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 da. Looking down here now, I see four screws, um, and I would imagine that that would hold this bottom plate, this bottom uh, assembly onto the top. So keeping my screwdriver nice and straight and applying some downward force, lefty loosey, righty tighty, I'm going to take out these four screws. Uh, if they're a bit stiff, you might need to ask someone for help, someone who's maybe got a bit stronger hands or a bit more experience. Notice that I'm putting these four screws together because they're alike, and I want to remember that these are the four screws that held the phone together. This is a magnetic tip screwdriver, um, so we can see that the magnet is holding the screws in place. Okay, now. Some of these devices snap together as well as the screws, but in this case, we're going to see that this one mostly, I think, is just going to pop open. There we go. Okay, so there's our bottom plastic unit, which I'm going to pop over here. Inside here, we see the main printed circuit board, the PSB. Um, we see the speaker through here. That's the what makes it ring. We see some connecting wires. We also see the mechanism for the hanging up button. I'm going to start by unscrewing the speaker, which again is a Phillips head screw. It's got these washers on, so I'm going to put those separately, three of those all together. All right. If you don't know what particular parts are, you can try and look online to see if you can find similar things in other products, or if you can find a description of what's in the phone. What we can see here is that after many years of use, this is dusty. We can always pull that dust out and just pop it in the bin later on. The speaker connects to the PCB via this socket, and I can wiggle that out. Oh, it takes a little bit. There it goes. That should go back in if it wasn't stuck too hard. So there's our loudspeaker, our ring. I'm going to pop that down now. On the PCB, again that stands for printed circuit board, that is a board, the plastic, which has circuits printed into it, I see five Phillips head screws, so I'm going to take those out. I'm going to collect those together in order to keep them separate from the screws that held the phone together. But this is a pretty well engineered device, so all the screws are the same size and type, but that's okay, I can just keep them apart. Keep them neat and remember what goes where. All right, under the PCB, I'm expecting to find the keys for the phone. So let's lift this up. There we go. Here is the LCD display. Here are the incredibly filthy buttons, which I can peel off. Yeah, and what we'll see is that each button has a corresponding touch sensitive circuit that when it's pressed, it registers. And that's all connected to the top buttons. Uh, looking up here, I can also con disconnect the LCD by pulling this fine. Oh, I disconnected the other end as well. By pulling that fine ribble ribbon cable out there. Now, unfortunately, and this is why we're doing this with old stuff, that's broken off from the LCD display. Oh, dear. oh well, we've got one more cable here from one end of this. Uh, phone PCB to the other and a few more green cables here but they're all soldered on so we're going to leave those. Uh, this is the backing for the LCD that's where it sat in the display and now we find that most of the buttons are attached to one of these flimsy frames. Those were the main buttons, those were some function buttons 
And then above there we have a few other buttons as well. Alright, that's mostly it. Oh, there's one more row of buttons here that we haven't taken out, so we're going to pull those out. And because it's an old phone, some of the bits have got stuck inside. Again, this is just practice. I'm not taking my time too much. We see the buttons there. That thin plastic had gotten fatigued. There was a little bit too much dust. The buttons didn't come out even here. Out there. That's okay. This is how we learn about materials and how they age and how we learn to fix things for real, things that we don't want to break. The last part of this here is this button. Uh, which looks a bit tricky to get out, but if I just push that in down here, I can free it enough to slide it out. Whoa, there goes my spring. And that is it. Okay, I'm going to move my tools out of the way here, and I'm going to bring together all the different pieces of this device that we found in our teardown. Here we go. Let's move the camera. Yeah, hopefully, you can see all those different pieces handset. Right, what we may want to do then is to try and take the handset apart. You can see there's a couple screws there. Um, I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to leave it as it is. Teardown Lab is a lot of fun. You get to learn a lot of stuff and as you get better at it, you can turn tearing down into tear down and rebuild, in which you get to uh, have the challenge of putting that back together.